Hold Y to enable menu narration. my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. From this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. So 
Eivor, here's a tune for you. One to liven your step. Oh, there you are, my little drinker. Go. So, is he okay? So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. <laughs> like a satyr works through my hammer. <laughs> The ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in hope of kings an ocean steed my wings 
streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Terms of the filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't... We'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father sags. A word. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave. Humiliated will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Hey, the wolf kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> uh, to the ship! Uh. You move... ...and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs>
Have a look, Sunan. See you, old friend. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotove tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today, he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davals Nest not long ago. Sailed east. Leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? Free hound? You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. The house for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. Chip. I need your eyes, my friend. Shitless warriors crawl through Arvel's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may. Survey the area, Sunan.
longhouse. The crew should be inside. Must be blocked from the other side. And my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, fuck out. and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You, lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, wolf... But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I'll split you! I will send you to hell herself! Feel your wolf kiss, and I will fight! Shut your hole and fight! Not much longer! Die, you sack of shit! <laughs> held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Eivor, 
Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, well, thank you, my well friend. Kissed, even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Yours. The whale road leads us home. It's, it's about time. Sail. Start rowing. Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no loss, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What to say? Something like stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bold and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cured of his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze.
Run up the sail! Adventure. Only the truth. That the attack cured this fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull to dare sing that verse. returns and not half we thought we had lost you Eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always Landry you reddened sheet what happened nothing to crow about except to say the men who delayed us are dead and how are you well enough though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king he is not happy with you I expected as much from his raids my husband should be home today the last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go. Killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. That's the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies, of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Welcome home. 